Hi, you guys. I'm Phil Town from Rule One Investing. And today, I want to share with you my favorite top five gurus that I'm watching closely while we're in this COVID-19 virus pandemic global meltdown. No question that we're in an incredible change life, changed global economics, changed everything. Um, and probably it's not changing back as a result of this coronavirus pandemic. Like many of you, I'm still going strong with my self-quarantine out here in Georgia. Uh, we're at my home office in Atlanta rather than the typical recording studio. And I rather like it. I think, uh, I think one of the major changes that's going to happen out there is that a lot of us will find that this is quite convenient to be at home. And, and as long as the world's comfortable with us being here and working through something like this medium, yeah, we're going to do it. So if you guys have been following along with me on this channel, um, you've heard me talk about what an incredibly exciting time, um, uh, really a monumental time this is for investing. Not necessarily the time to actually buy something, but you very rarely in your investing life will get such a clear picture of where this market is going and uh, the time to get ready to prepare yourself to really take advantage of it. Usually things require that you already be all set up, but this time uh, the market did this massive crash completely out of the blue and the result of quarantining around the world is creating a potential, obviously a giant recession, there's no question about that, uh, but a potential depression because we're going into this uh, moment 11 years into a bull market 11 years of increasing debt to historic levels, both by corporations and by governments. We've never been as indebted as we are, and debt makes you weak if there's ever a problem. And so now we got the big problem. Debt is impacting everything from local governments to corporations to big governments. Um, and that impact is going to be monumental in terms of the economy and the impact on the stock market. So we have time to prepare ourselves to come back at a stock market when it's down 50% or more over the next year, year and a half, and be ready to purchase fabulous companies. And so I want to do this, this little video on the guys that I'm watching. They're all guys, so I'm going to say guy. The guys I'm watching who I am really paying attention to carefully here, uh, because these people are, are very, very good investors, extremely good investors. And they're also people that I really admire and like. Some of them are friends, um, and some of them I just admire from afar as gurus in my life. So I'm gonna give you guys my view of what you should be looking at when you're looking at, uh, at gurus. And I'll start with this. The number one guy I think you should read right now is not an investor that I follow as a guru. He's not a rule one type investor, he's not a ruler. A ruler type investor, if you don't know that by now, you should, that is somebody who follows rule number one, you know, invest for the long term, don't lose money, uh, be sure you're capable of understanding the business, it's got a big moat, great management, and we buy it on sale. This is very Warren Buffett 101, and we call ourselves rulers, this group of people who have been following this idea ever since Ben Graham came up with it in the last depression. Uh, but this guy isn't one of those. So this guy is the best macro trading investor and he's a trader slash investor in the world by far by far he runs the largest hedge fund in the world called bridgewater um, his name is ray dalio and if you've been following uh, the news he's all over the news uh, because he's kind of quasi he's not retired but he's you know moved to the chairmanship of his firm um, he's a guy about my age uh, we we've sort of interacted like we're one one degree of separation although i've never met ray you know my brother's kids grew up with his kid and our best friends with them and that kind of thing right we all do transcendental meditation and that kind of stuff and so uh ray is somebody that i've known about for a long time and i'm telling you right now this guy is the best view the most honest view that you're going to get from anybody out there everybody else and i mean warren buffett charlie munger everybody else is hedging saying in public what they're really thinking in private. But Ray Dalio holds as his number one principle, 
being very blunt with the truth. And so he's out there right now. I would go to his website and I'd read his articles. His, you know, Google Ray Dalio. I think his website is called principles.com or something. And read everything you can. Go online, watch his video on the economic machine. It's fantastic 20 minutes. And you'll get a sense of why we're in heading into such a major crisis. Because as Ray puts it, we are on right now at the end of a major credit cycle, which is a 75 to 100 year cycle. Um, and when you get to the end of one of those things, there is an enormous restructuring of the world economy, of the world's reserve currencies, of who's the major domo in the world. All of that stuff changes. The potential for war, the potential for conflict, the potential for depression, all there massively and a potential for a massive rebalancing of debt, which means debt gets wiped out. So <clears throat> really stay on top of what Ray Dalio is saying. He's putting out an article every week now that is up to date with what he's thinking is going on. And I would absolutely watch that very carefully. The second guy is being more circumspect because he's much more sort of political about all this stuff is Warren Buffett. Um, I would be right on top of Warren. He's coming up with an annual meeting here. And oh my gosh, people are going to be all over him about what's going on with his investing. People are scared. Um, and he runs, of course, Berkshire Hathaway. And at the Berkshire Hathaway website, just BerkshireHathaway.com, are all of his letters written since the early 1970s. And if you Google Warren Buffett letters, you can even get them before that uh, from his Buffett partnerships. Just make it a project to read those letters. Just read every one of them. And what I would do if I were reading them for the first time is I would make notes not so much on what he says you should do, which I boil it down for you, right? You'd be capable of understanding the company. Has it got a big moat? Do you love the management team and, and their values? And is it on sale? Warren's going to tell you that for 60 years, okay? What he, he adds to these letters that's really important is his mistakes, where he's made a mistake. Write those down in a log and make those part of your checklist that you avoid making those mistakes in the future because he's made them and is telling you about them. Warren Buffett's letters, fabulous during this time where you're quarantined. Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett's partner, and you'd think, oh, well, these guys are the same thing. No, they are not. Uh, Warren is a, is a full-time Democrat, liberal, uh, doesn't like to take any kind of positions that are controversial. Charlie, full-time Republican, super conservative, loves to take positions that are completely controversial. So he's really fun to, uh, to read. And the best book out there about Charlie that'll, that'll bring you up to speed on all of his thinking on all this stuff is Poor Charles, Charlie's Almanac. Poor Charlie's Almanac. So pick that up from Amazon. It's great reading. It's, it's what I would consider a bathroom book, right? You're not going to sit down and read the whole thing all at once. You just put it in the bathroom and when you're sitting, you're reading better than the Sears catalog used to be. All right, next guy on the list is Monesh Prabhai. I love this guy. I love his view. Extremely optimistic guy. I mean, he's talking about where we're going to be, you know, down the road. He knows we're going to pull through this. He knows this is an incredible opportunity for an investor who follows the right strategies, which are ruler strategies. And Monesh wrote, and he's managing over a billion dollars, by the way, and he's got a phenomenal track record. Um, one of the best investors in the world, and I love his whole view of the world. So you can get that condensed beautifully in his book, Dondo Investor, which is uh, the Dondo is a word from Hindi or, or Sanskrit that is about uh, investing in a business a, as a business investor, like you're buying businesses. And that's the way he looks at stock investing. Um, you'll also get the story of the Patel family there, which is fantastic. I'll just, I won't, I won't spoil it for you. So Get that book, Dondo Investor, and watch Monesh's investing. Keep go go look him up on YouTube. There are videos out there where he does 90-minute lectures at Boston University that are just he's got a friend over there who's a professor and he does like a lecture every year. Go listen to him. I mean, you're gonna get an education that's unbelievable by just doing that. So that's Monesh Prabhai. And finally, Guy Spear, who's a, a good friend and uh, a really good friend of, of uh, my daughter and wrote one of the most wonderful books on this kind of investing that you could ever read called The Education of a Value Investor. A guy uh, runs a, a hedge fund called um, Aquamarine, and he's just wonderful. I mean, he, he invests differently 
than Monash, differently than Charlie, differently than Warren, differently than me, but in the same uh, basic strategy. And so you'll get another view if you're watching Guy and watching his videos um, about the direction that he's taking in this market. And what I really like about keeping track of Guy is that he likes to stay fully invested, whereas uh, many of the other investors like Buffett and Munger, me and, and Monash, are all like sitting a lot in cash. Guy's going to be in there all the way. And that'll give you a view of, uh, of what it looks like when somebody's staying fully invested into a potential depression. What do they own? And you got to know that they're going to own companies they think are going to make it through that. So now I'd like to hear from you guys. Who are you watching out there to stay up with kind of the overall impact on the world of what's going on with this virus? Um, you know, leave a comment below with your answer and I'll be sure to follow up with you guys. So thanks for watching. Time to go play. See ya. You guys, if you enjoyed this video and you think it was valuable in teaching you more about some of my favorite gurus and what they're doing during this time period, hit the like button and please share the video with your friends. And by the way, if you want more investing content, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the button on the screen for a free gift. We've got something great for you. And thanks again for watching.